Will was tired of his life and felt like he had not lived anything worth remembering. But one day, a desperate woman wearing a wedding dress knocked on his door and told him something shocking. A few hours later, he decided to sell his home for an amazing reason. Will was getting ready for another boring night at home with his snacks and a football game. In his early 20s, he thought this was the ideal way of life. The bachelor lifestyle was all that appealed to him, although he wasn't into partying or being with random women as he was an introvert. His independence was most important. However, things got tiring for him at some point. He didn't enjoy being alone and often daydreamed about finding a woman to share his life with. He often pictured himself watching these football games with a son or playing with him in the backyard of his house in Atlanta, Georgia. Sometimes, he even worried about being forgotten and not leaving any legacy or something behind. But he forgot his worries for one day and sat down on his couch, turned on the television and prepared for another uneventful night alone. However, there were some frantic knocks on his door and he had no idea who it could be. He wasn't expecting anyone or any deliveries, so he frowned, stood up and checked things out. A young woman wearing a simple wedding dress was out there. Her cheeks were streaked with the tears that had ruined her makeup and her hair was a mess. Sir, please help me. You have to help me. It's urgent, she said in such a rush that Will almost couldn't understand her. Ma'am, what's going on? He asked her calmly. Please, it's my husband. We were going to a hotel. He's hurt. Our car, a tree. Please, she continued. But her speech was so rushed and choked up that Will didn't get all of it. He understood, though, that someone was hurt as she turned her head back to look back at something. That's when Will saw that a car had crashed terribly against a tree on the other side of the street and there was an injured man on the driver's side. Oh, Jesus, he muttered and rushed for his phone, calling 911 immediately. Then he went outside with the newlywed woman to keep her company. She was trying to wake up her unconscious husband and her wails became louder. Eventually, other neighbors heard the commotion and watched from their front yards with concerned expressions. Will grabbed the woman's shoulders and tried to get her to calm down. He eventually gave her his sweater because the night was getting chilly. After several more minutes, the ambulance arrived along with the firefighters. They did their best to extract and tend to her injured husband. Several EMTs attended to the bride too, who was luckily uninjured. As the EMTs got ready to leave, pulling the gurney into their ambulance, the woman asked, can he come with us, pointing towards Will who raised his eyebrows in surprise. They shook their heads as there was not enough room in the ambulance and the bride looked so sad that Will had to do something. I'll follow you to the hospital, Will assured the woman, who nodded tearfully at him in gratitude. Will got in his car quickly and drove to the local hospital where the man had been taken for emergency surgery and a doctor tended to the wife to make sure she was okay. Luckily, everything was fine, so she joined him in the waiting room. They sat in silence for what seemed like a long time and she finally calmed down enough to talk coherently. I'm sorry about this. You don't even know my name. I'm Sandra, she stated, looking at him with sad eyes. Will, it's nice to meet you, although not under the best circumstances, he responded, offering his hand for her to shake. She smiled a bit at his lame joke and started talking. She told him that they were on their way to a nearby hotel to spend their honeymoon, and their GPS took them on a detour through Will's neighborhood. But something happened and her husband Richard lost control of the car crashing into a tree. Many hours later, the doctors finally came out and explained what happened during surgery. It was a severe head injury. But they expected Richard to recover with treatment and therapy. They had taken her husband to the ICU just in case and they discouraged visitors so they sat back down to wait. What am I going to do? Sandra mumbled at some point. What do you mean? They said Richard would be fine. He wondered, confused. I know this is weird to think about right now, I know I should be happy, but we don't have any money for any further treatments, not even for the current surgery. We live from paycheck to paycheck. We can't afford this at all, and our families can't help," she expressed, placing her hand on her face. I know I'm horrible, Richard is fine and that's what should matter right now. Well, money is a concern all the time, it means you're a realist. Don't be so hard on yourself, Will responded, not knowing how else to comfort her. The days went on and Will started visiting them at the hospital after work. Sandra was always glad to see him and he eventually met some of their family who came to offer support. But Sandra never told anyone but him about her money concerns and she was getting more distressed about it every day. Will saw her worries and for some unexplained reason, he wanted to help her in some way. They had just gotten married and they were supposed to be happy. 
It just wasn't fair. Therefore, unbeknownst to Sandra, he called his real estate agent and placed his house on the market. He had inherited it from his parents and the market was perfect for a seller. Soon enough, he received offers and they were lucrative. He moved into a rented place and his house was sold for considerable money. Eventually, Richard woke up and Will met the guy who was just as lovely as his wife. Months went by and he became close to the couple and their family. Richard had physical therapy and spent a long time at the hospital. But when he was eventually discharged, Will paid for his entire bill. He didn't want to tell them, but Sandra found out because she called the hospital to ask why they hadn't sent them the bill and wanted to know about their payment plans. She was shocked. Why would you do that for a complete stranger? She asked Will during a call. My life has been mostly useless for many years. I've been content, but I've never been happy or felt alive. I felt like a hero when I was there for you guys, and I wanted to do more. I hated the idea of you guys starting your life together with so much debt. It didn't seem fair, and I now consider you both friends, so please, this is a gift. I'm not asking for anything in return, he replied as Sandra cried on the phone. They could never repay him, but Will earned their eternal loyalty forever. And when the rest of their family found out about it, Richard's sister Chiara was especially moved. She asked Will out on a date, and they quickly fell in love. In no time, the four of them saw each other every week and were there for each other through thick and thin. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.